Now, let us come to understand how inertia and mass are related. Okay. Well, how did we define inertia? It was a tendency of the undisturbed object to maintain its state. If it is state of rest, then it is it is the inertia of rest and if it is state of motion, then it was inertia of motion. Right? <coughs> now, uh, let me let me say this. Suppose some suppose something is at rest, suppose a small ball is at rest, okay, and we apply some force, then I am able to move that ball. Okay. Okay. Now in comparison to that, let us say let us say there is a there is a more massive ball or maybe maybe let us say there was a football and then there is another ball that is of the same size but but it is made up of iron now the same amount of force will not be able to give it the same kind of motion okay that means more force will be required to give it the same kind of velocity that a football has been given suppose you you come running and you kick the football okay so it, it goes off flying maybe maybe from from one goal post to to the to more than half of the field but if you come running and try to kick that iron ball obviously you'll break your feet right your your you, you'll break your foot the foot with which you have hit it and it will not even budge it will not even 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 move okay so so its tendency the 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 tendency to remain at rest is more than that of the football is it not its inertia of rest is more in the same manner just try to think if that ball was moving or or a football is coming towards you with a with a great velocity okay with a very high velocity and you as the goalkeeper are suddenly able to stop it now just imagine would you be able to stop the football made up of iron if it was coming to you with the same velocity if it was coming to you with the same velocity will you be able to stop it with the same force that you applied to the leather football no okay it will be absolutely fatal if it is coming at that great speed and it's kind of made up of iron then it will actually carry you out of the stadium with it is it not so what does it mean if an object is moving okay or or if an object is at rest then the object which has more mass more mass has more tendency to be at rest that means it is with the same force it it, it does not move in the same way as a lighter object moves and similarly when it is moving to stop it you require a greater amount of force correct for the heavier for the more massive object so so we say if there are two objects with one more massive than the other what do you mean by massive one has more mass than the other if there are two objects with one more massive than the other the force required to move the more massive one from the rest is higher 
is higher as compared to the force required to move the less massive one to move the less massive one similarly the force required to to stop okay the effort required to stop the more massive one is more than the force required to stop the less massive one similarly the effort required to to retard or or stop the more massive object the more massive object is more than that required for the less massive one less massive one right fine it is more compared to the or less massive one so so i can very safely say that the inertia of rest or of motion for of of the more massive object is more than that of the less massive object thus we conclude that that we conclude that both the inertia of rest and inertia inertia of motion of a more massive object is greater than that of the less massive one than that of the less massive one correct we understand that fine now based on this that that we have already uh, told earlier so so we say that inertia is the natural tendency of an object tendency of an object to resist to resist a change in its state of rest state of rest or of uniform motion and what is the mass the mass is the the mass of an object is the measure of its inertia mass of an object is the measure of its inertia is the measure of its inertia <coughs> is the measure of its inertia that is does 
<coughs> more the mass of an object object more or higher is its inertia correct so higher is the inertia correct fine 